OK, welcome to this video in which we're going to look at the new reporting functionality in Project Explorer version 2 for AutoCAD Civil 3D. Uh, there are two ways to generate reports from Project Explorer. The first of which is the Quick Report option, and the second is the new Object Sets functionality which was introduced in this release. So let's look at the Quick Report option first. If you right-click any listed object in Project Explorer, you'll see a Quick Report option which takes us straight to the ability to determine how the layout of the report should be defined. Um, this is the Layout Options panel, which is template driven. I'm just going to accept the defaults for the time being and to generate uh, a text file, which is the default option. So here's the file that's generated and you can see that in this case we have a text file containing all of those same columns of information that you see in the Project Explorer window. Um, but we have the ability to very easily customize all of this information and to jazz up our reports and generate them in a range of different file formats. So let's take a look at that now. I'm going to go back to the Quick Report option and this time I'm going to play around with the Layout options. First of all, let's change the file type. Um, let's pick a table style for the, word, for the Word document that I'm going to create. And I'm going to change the font to something a little bit more interesting. And you can see here that I have the ability to change the, uh, the page size, the orientation, the page margins, and so on. But I'll leave all of those as they are for the time being. What I will do, though, is add a image for my company to the report header. And then I'm going to go back to the Alignments tab, because you can see here that we have the ability to change the columns of information that are shown for each object type. So under Alignments, I'm going to take away a lot of these columns of information and just pick a few simpler um, lists of information which relate to this uh, alignment and profile. And I'll do the same for the Alignment header column too. You can see here I also have the ability to set the line interval, curve interval and spiral interval for the report and I can decide which geometry points are included in my report as well. So having set this um, set of layout options I'm going to save this to a template just in case I wish to reuse this again. So I'm going to call this the word doc template. And you can see that if we look at those uh, results in Microsoft Word, then this is our newly formatted report. OK, so next we're going to take a look at the new Object Sets feature in Project Explorer version 2. If we pan across these tabs at the top of the panel to the Object Sets tab, you can see that at the moment we have a blank panel because we haven't defined any Object Sets in this drawing. But I can use this button here to generate my first Object Set. Now an object set is a selection set of objects which are going to be sent out to a report. We can associate each object set with a layout options file and an output path. And this means that we can generate this report at any time after any design change by pressing just a single button. So let's create a name for this object set now. I'm going to call this one Alignment Alignments Report. I'm going to set an action to this object set, which is going to generate a report. I'm going to associate my Word document template with it. And I'm going to set an output path to my reports folder. So there I have my new object set. And all I need to do now is to start adding some content to it. So let's go back to the Alignments tab. And I'm going to add First Street to that Alignments report and Second Street to the Alignments report. Now if I go back to my Object Sets tab, I can now generate this report in a single action because I've already defined the layout and the output path for it. Um, there's my report generation complete. Do I wish to review the contents? Yes. So that will open Microsoft Word. And you can see that we have First Street written to the report and there we have Second Street. So we can combine as many objects as we wish into each object set, and we can have as many object sets as we wish as well. So I'm just going to pause the video now and create a few other object sets. OK, so here you can see I've uh, populated several object sets here. I have um, a geometry port here containing seven objects. Uh, this is going out to a CSV file. 
I have an assemblies report here which just contains one assembly from the drawing which is going out to a Word document and I have the original one that I created a few minutes ago. So at any time here I can just pick the run action button to run the object set action that's associated with the current object set. And if I run that I get the, uh, the report generation. And you can see here that I have a CSV file which is being opened in Excel. And you can see here that we have a lot of columns of information. Um, now a few things to notice here, because this is going into Excel, it's not really liking the degrees, minutes and seconds formatting that I've got in this column. And it's not ideal to be outputting formatted chainage values or station values either. So we could go back and change the layout options associated with that object set. Um, okay, so let's go into the edit button here and go back to the general tab. And here we can decide to use decimal degrees to three decimal places in this case and we can change the formatted station values to use raw station values and again we can set the decimal places. So if I just save those again to CSV template and run that action again you can see that this time if I just adjust the column width you can see that we've lost those awkward um, bearing values and the chainage values are now more readable as well. So the beauty now is that having set up these object sets with all of these different selections of objects within them, we can now run all of these actions at any time to generate all of those reports with a single button press. So it doesn't matter whether we're doing this this week, next week, after design changes or so on, we can just click run all actions and it will generate those three reports and update them instantly. Um, because three reports were generated, it's now asking us whether we want to review the results in the output history window. So let's just do that now. You can see that I've generated quite a lot of um, reports from this particular drawing. Uh, now this output history is remembered in this drawing permanently and you can see that the new reports that were generated as a result of the last report generation process are highlighted with this little symbol in the corner. And I can just double click on any of these to open them and review the contents. There's my um, alignment report, here's my assemblies report, and here is the CSV report that we just reviewed. Another useful feature of object sets is the ability to compare geometric relationships between objects and output them to a report. And I'm going to show you that now. So first of all I've picked this alignment in my viewport which has a layout profile associated with it. I'm going to add that to a new object set which I'm going to call comparison report. I set my action as generate report and I'm picking a layout template which I've created earlier and I'm going to set my output path to my reports folder. Now let's go across to the object sets tab. Here I have my new object set with my layout profile assigned within it and I'm going to use the Compare To button to compare this alignment and layout profile with the power line alignment, which is this one here. Once I've done that, you'll see some additional columns of information have been populated, which allow us to see things like the 2D target distance between the two objects at particular stations or chainages. Now, the beauty of this is that I can select objects here, pan to them in the viewport, and those relationships are highlighted in the viewport so I can start to see where those comparisons have taken place. If I scroll down here a little bit further I can start to see that at this point the offset between those objects increases so let's pan to that point and there I can see the reason that those objects are a little bit further apart at that point. Okay now because this is in an object set I can at any point output this comparison to my report and you can see here that I have a report generated in a Word file and I've filtered the columns so that I'm only showing information that relates to the comparison that I'm running between those two objects. Now the beauty of object sets is that this information is captured live from Civil 3D. So if I was to edit one of these alignments you can see that the information in Project Explorer is updated dynamically. And indeed if I run the action to regenerate the report that will also be updated instantly with the new values. 
Thank you for watching.